you see were were here in the uh in the deep the deep mountain range of uh of Ethiopia and uh I found this little bugger right here and it seems to seems to be very violent if not uh I'm gonna try and get a look closer let's uh let's let's witness the uh the walled baboon in its natural habitats It is day two here in Ethiopia. We uh, uh, we stopped on the side of the road for this phenomenal view of nature, and uh, we're going to hike in the mountains today. Probably. Let's go. All right, I uh, they let me sit jump seat on the way to uh, the Samin Mountains. Um, this is DJ. He is with us this week. He is a former student of Aardvark, and he's a, yeah. Tour guide. <laughs> he's our tour guide. Um. The, uh, the reason people were, so many people were in the streets was because that's what they do for entertainment. That's where they go to like socialize with each other and to see everybody. Here in Gondar and pretty much everywhere else in Ethiopia, family is a huge, like it's very traditional here. When you get married, the wife moves in with the husband and his family. And what happens is they live with the family until the new married couple is of age. And then once they are of age, they, the father, of the groom will give them a plot of land to build their own house on. And they will continue doing that until there is, they birth a daughter, I suppose. And when they birth a daughter, the daughter gets sent to go live with her husband's family. Making a, a quick pit stop at the, uh, the base, like the entrance to the mountain. We uh, got to pay for entrance, got to pick up a scout, and uh, then we're, we're off on our hike for the day. How was your nap, Molly? It's good. I got the whole back seat to myself. Not anymore. <laughs> we picked up the scouts yeah, and we picked up our tour guide. We have Daniel here <laughs> who, uh, who is going to help us fend off baboons like a deer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 What are we? We have made it to almost the top of the mountain. We have ventured about 15 kilometers up the mountain. We have about seven to go. Kilometers, not miles. Did I say miles? I meant kilometers. A video camera converts the picture into a television signal. We have made it to the trailhead after like two hour drive. Uh, gonna go order some lunch now, then we're gonna hit the trail. Alrighty, we uh, we're headed to uh, a different place now. Gonna go see some baboons, and uh, the the reason we have armed guards with us is because I guess they're worried that animals may or may not attack us. So uh, you know, an AK or two is uh, it's pretty reasonable in these parts. <laughs> This is this is maybe the craziest thing that I've ever done. It's, it's like we're what what are we doing right now? We're watching monkeys look at the, look at the in the wild, not in the zoo, in Africa. These guys are uh, 
they're all moving that way, away from us. So we're gonna go try and, uh, we're gonna try and get a little closer to them. Not sure how close I'm gonna be able to get considering I just realized that uh, I'm terrible at being stealthy. But uh, I'm still trying. <laughs> I've uh, I've been moving really slow towards this monkey for the last like two minutes. I think, oh, it's even coming towards me. Oh, look at this! Oh my god! Oh, oh god! It's coming after me! Oh god! Oh god! Everybody run! We are uh, headed out of here in a quick jiffy. But this view, this view is maybe one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. Also, uh, shout out to the wild baboon Molly for uh, making me be out of breath. It was uh, quite the adventure of finding such a wild beast in such a beautiful place. We're, uh, we're hiking out now and uh, just th this view, I, I can't even, how would you describe this view? One word, how would you describe it? That's what I was literally about to say, just like speechless. Oh my god, it is it is beautiful. Like, like I, I wish you could be here right now just to just to see what just what is what this place is. It is like wow. We're uh, we're still headed to lunch here. Decided to take a little bit of a a scenic route and uh Still on the trail, didn't get lost, but it's still a scenic route, so it's uh, it's rather it's rather nice. A little difficult. We're uh, we're struggling a little bit. We just finished a good lunch, but dessert just came. Like, look at this. Thank you. It looks amazing. So I'm gonna eat it. We uh, just got stopped by some kids on the side of the road because uh, we were headed for a, a, a construction site and it's up ahead. I guess they're doing some road work. The van just left without us. But the best part about it was that uh, we left uh, Ilan and Tali on the bus sleeping. So we're really hoping they just wake up and have no idea what's happening. We've been in the car most of the day, just driving to the mountains and from to and from the mountains. Look, the little guy's so cute. No, this is the little guy. Hi. What's your name? Um. Now we're going into the Falasha, Falasha Cemetery. They uh, make pots and like stuff like that here. He's so and cute. we're all just tired and this is the last stop of the day. Woo -woo. We are indeed not at a cemetery. I was definitely misinformed. We are... Uh, we're at a women's center where they help women, and here they make pottery, they make, they, like, they weave, and they make, they cultivate vegetables and fruits, and it helps women who have been divorced or widowed or just women who are in need of help to get a job and get a little bit of money on the side while developing skills. I promised one child and then her two friends came, so I was like, just you three. I'll buy one thing from you three. I get back, and there's a tribe waiting for me <laughs> at the door. Like, promises a promise is a promise is a promise. And I was like, it's so sad. It's so sad. What are you supposed to do? They're it was like, like and March of the Bulls, and she just got stampeded. And then Adi was like, take my hand. Adi was like, <laughs> yalla advark. He came to the rescue. He was like, Take my hand. <laughs>
Thanks for watching my video. Click right here to check out what I'm up to, and click right here to check out Aardvark Israel.